Welcome to this video in which we're going to show how the VR Oculus Quest plus Photon Pan 2 works in its professional version. If you are a VR lover, if you are obsessed with the Oculus Quest, this is your asset. With this asset you will be able to create a multiplayer game based on Photon Pan 2. And we're going to explain in this video, in this short video, how to achieve it using this asset. Once we have downloaded our package, this simple window will appear. If it doesn't appear, you can go to the window MFPS settings and you will have all of the information of the package summarized inside this window. The first step you should follow is import the free packages by clicking the button at the top of the window. The packages we need are the Oculus integration, the low poly solder demo, the Photon Pan 2, the Photon Voice 2 and the zombie package that is completely free. So all of these packages are going to be free but are not included in this um, original release. Now let's go ahead and see how to configure your game. In the window you will be able to select the player avatar which will be the game object used by Photon in order to create the different instances of the players in the game, in the multiplayer game. In order to configure the player, you can change the health from here, the score when killed, and the respawn time. Then we can move ahead to the bullet. The bullet is also a game object that is going to be created in the server locally and is used to perform all the killing between players and zombies. We have all the options here, that is going to be the bullet speed, the bullet time, this will be the time between bullets, which means that is the shooting uh, speed. Then we have the clip, the clip size and the maximum bullets of, of the player. Then we have the button of the OVR or the button of the Oculus Quest controller that we are using to shoot and is going to be selected from the ones we can choose from the list. Same thing for the sound of the shooting, that is going to be this one here, and the reloading. And we have also set the reloading time. Then we can go ahead and move to the zombie settings. Zombies are also a game object that is going to be in the resource file and results folder and is going to be sent across the server for the multiplayer game. The zombie has a lot of things to be configured because it is using the artificial intelligence Unity engine for the movement. So we have the attack distance, the time between attacks, the zombie speed, zombie rotation speed, acceleration, stopping distance, health and score when it dies. Then we have also added the sound of the zombie and the zombie manager. The zombie manager is going to um, control the time between spawn uh, one enemy and another one. And we can select to spawn it or not. In this case we have this boolean to prevent uh, having to change the code directly. And finally we have the room settings that is controlled in the lobby game object and in this case we can set the maximum number of players to 4 or to the number you want. Once you have changed the information you want for your game you can apply the changes. Finally if we take a look at the different scenes we have on the package, you will see that we have a persistent scene, a menu scene and a multiplayer scene. All of these scenes must be added to the build settings 
in order. The first one will be the zero zero scene, there will be the persistent scene, and then we have the menu and the multiplayer. If you hit play, you will go directly to a loading stage in which the game will load and will show the canvas with a logo. In this case, you can select your own logo by changing easily the image here. Whenever you get to the menu scene, you will see that you are able to select different modes for the game and also the different teams. In order to debug from the computer, you can go ahead and select the lobby scene You can select the lobby from the Don't Destroy and Load and you can join manually a room. This will take you to the next stage of the game that will be the multiplayer game. If you want to also debug the movement of the player in the game you can go ahead to the player clone and in the debug the bug OVR, you can select the bug. You will be able to move your player easily in the game using the arrows or the values of A, of A, S, D and W and also Q and Z to move the hands up and down and E and C to close the space between your hands. As you can see, when a zombie starts hitting you the canvas will turn red and your life will decrease if you get close to the button you will be able to move the objects that are called requested objects and your score will be also updated in the scoreboard whenever you kill a zombie if a zombie gets you and kills you, as is going to happen in just a few seconds, you will be respawn in the initial position after a certain time that is configured on the menu scene or on the windows that is on top of the MFPS settings. This is all regarding this video, I hope you consider downloading our package and supporting our work.